first met Chibo July 10th, 2002 uh, at his home in, uh, on Turkey Creek, Alabama, which is right near Fairhope. Uh, the locals call it Turkey Branch. I met Chibo through our fishing buddy, Jack West, uh, who introduced us and went with us on that first visit. At that time, Shibo was 88 years old, and the doctor said he had about uh, two to three weeks to live. He had prostate cancer. But he seemed to feel pretty good, and we sat down and had a really nice conversation. And when it was over and we said goodbye, all the way back to North Carolina, I knew I had to go back and see him again, obviously soon. So after a few phone calls, uh, we did go back. Uh, right now, this is the first conversation we had uh, with Shibo. Turkey Branch. We're, we're going up into the head of Turkey Branch, and we're really going to go here as far as we can go by boat. And Skipper's house is the last house. You're going to bear left here, and that's going to be Shebo's house dead ahead, right up there, but we're going to go on by it. No water skiing. This way, guys. All right, now, there's some spider webs right here. Y'all might want to duck when you come in here. Not that you can't touch them. They, they're uh, summer spiders, but they won't bite you. And they'll get real big before the summer ends. What old Shibo would do is he has him a stick. I don't want have one to improvise. Maybe I do here. He, uh, he'd have a stick. And this road wasn't paved. And what he'd do is there'd be two ridges where the cars would go. He goes down here like this. And then next thing you know, he, there'd be a car coming, he hears it, you know, and he'd go over here and he'd stand like this here and let that car go by and he'd come back at it. Well, we got some fellas here with some cameras in there. Uh, we want, it's been a long time that I would like to have done this, but we finally got down here to get you on film and we, we're interested in anything and everything that you gotta say. Uh, you hadn't been blind all your life. When you were a boy, you could see, right? Right, right. So you, yeah, you know what it all looks like. Yeah. I, I didn't even know I could <laughs> be alive until I got nine. Mm-hmm. My brother and I, we lived up in the country that saw wood. Yeah. And, uh, I'd always put the saw across, kind of catacombs across. And he says, Lord, see, you can't see. You can't see straight. I told God, I didn't know what in it was. I thought I could see straight. <laughs> All right, pull out your Palm Pilot here, buddy. Palm uh, Pilot. What do I do when I get up here? All uh, right, let me get my Palm Pilot. We can put it at 98 right now. Do I go left here before 98? You said there's a store. Right the, there. Right there in this. The, there's a McKenzie, street right behind McKenzie, it. McKenzie, McKenzie. Okay. I got it. Okay. Oh, there you go. Hey, Storm Floyd. Hey, Storm Mac. Man, I'm going to Mike see some. This is Mike, Mac, hey, Shibo. and Trip. Right. We're back to, we're back to, back to drive you crazy, yeah? Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Shibo, you're yeah. such a good movie actor that uh, oh, yeah, we need to like. pass up some more. Yeah. I'll take him out and pull him behind the truck. That works, too. I wish I could put him behind Well, we, we made our second uh, trip to Turtle Creek to visit Shibo just 10 days later on July the 20th. Um, it was about 100 degrees, and we were all really hot, and... But he was cool, and he was, seemed to be in very good spirits that day when we talked. Um, after a, another nice conversation with the man, he, uh, as we were leaving, he asked me to call him uh, sometime on the phone. So I called him the next day from back home, and, and uh, he asked me to call him again. I called him every day uh, uh, for the next few weeks until he passed away in August. He, um, he also kind of wanted some tomatoes. I FedExed him a great big box, and he even started eating again. Uh, this is our second conversation with uh, Shibo. We want to kind of talk about that uh, that big fish. That was something we had a little trouble understanding. 
Jack West kept interrupting you, and we're going to come back down here and get the whole story. Because <laughs> I, I didn't understand uh, where you caught that fish. I think it was out. Was it out in the river? Uh, down to my fish branch here. Turkey branch. Turkey branch. And, and the fish river about a, almost a mile down there. And just we're at the mouth of the branch house fishing. When you got down there, I want to kind of go back through that story, if you don't mind. When you got down there, uh, you, you had some shrimp, I think you said. Yes. And a new line. And, uh, and I had that put the new line on them, reel them, cast out, and started, started casting the other reel. And, Big fish got on it. You knew it was big. I sure did. <laughs> I did take it across the river. Did it pull your boat? Do you think? No, I had to. Had anchor. I anchored it. Yeah. So I uh, he drove, drove across to the end of the line, and it turned around and come back. Wow. You said it took two hours to pull them in? That's right. <coughs> I could tell you have a good sense of humor when you talked about that fella going by saying, Sheba, I see you got a big one. That's right. <laughs> and then he came back by? That's right. See, you got another big one. <laughs> <laughs> And did you actually, did you get him in the boat yourself? No, this fellow started fishing. He came over and pulled him in. I would have never got him in. Wow. So you put him in your boat? Yes. And he was, uh, how much did he weigh? 42 pounds and 42 inches long. Hmm. One pound per inch. Right. So then, you, did you, what did you do then? Did you come back up the branch? Well, Skipper's girlfriend come down there about that time in this uh, truck and well, I put him in the truck for me. <coughs> nice of you. Yeah. So you'd have to bring him back up here in your boat if he had, his girlfriend hadn't come down there. That's right. Now, when he caught uh, the alligator yes. in his catfish lines, yes. where was that, do you think? I believe, my dad would know for sure, but I believe it was down here by the, um, because what he would do, he'd set his catfish lines out all on the bank, right. off of the bank, and um, that's where he would all, and then he'd go down and check his catfish lines. He's always set his catfish lines out down here. And then what happened with the, the alligator? It, um, he caught it, and then he, um, it had almost drowned. Basically, he set some out the night before, and then um, it, had bas it had almost drowned. And so he got it up. It was a six-foot alligator, I think they said, and um, put it in the, at that time, part of this was a carport. Part mm -hmm. of the house was a carport. And he put it in the carport because my grandma and my dad and um, my dad's brothers weren't home. And then he put it in the carport and then left it there for them. But it was still alive. <laughs> And so when they came home, they, they, there was an alligator sitting in their carport. Woo. Yeah, he said, when they came home, they didn't know what to think. Right. <laughs> How did he get that alligator up this hill? Six foot alligator's got to weigh more than him. It really does. I have no earthly idea. I mean, this was, I, well, I guess he took it up the steps. Probably took it up the steps. How about that? Okay. How much you weigh now, Sheba? Last time we weighed, weighed 83 pounds. My goodness. Mm. Light, as, light as a feather. Mm. 83 pounds. That's, uh, how much did you use to weigh before you lost a little weight? Well, when I was 18 years old, I got up to 100, 124 pounds. Yeah. So you've always been kind of small. Yeah. I cried to lost weight from then on. Life tossed 28, 29, 30. Started losing a little bit of it almost every year. 
you said that you um, used to clean those catfish and take them to old people in Mobile? That's right. What, what was that about? I mean, where were they? My li mother lived over there. And she stayed at a place where there's a lot of, she had a lot of friends and I'd catch a fish and clean them, take them over there. She'd give them, give them to our neighbors. Tell me the best thing that ever happened to you in your whole life. Moving over here. <laughs> <laughs> Getting over here where you can fish. <laughs>